Hi everyone, it's Ian from Qtips. I had a query recently about how to merge two shapefile layers together, and you can do that one of two ways, and I'm going to show you my preferred method. The one way is to use the geoprocessing tool and to merge them, but I prefer to append them by exporting one layer and saving it over the top of the other layer and then selecting the append to existing layer option. So I'll show you how to do that using these two layers. I've got layer one and layer two here. Now these two layers are essentially identical which is what you need if you're going to be pulling through data from one column onto a new column in the new, in the new shapefile. So I'll just show you. So layer two is three point files, Landodno, Constantia, and Weinberg. Layer one is three point, Hout Bay, and Musenberg. Now I want to merge or append layer two into layer one. Now you could have a third shapefile layer here called layer all, um, and then keep the original two independent ones and then just have a third layer as your merged layer or your appended layer. But let me show you how to do it using uh, the export function. So I'm going to merge or append layer two into layer one. So all I'm going to do, and then just to show you that they're both the same. So they've only got three columns each or three fields, ID, name, and type. And this one also, ID, name, and type. So what I'm going to do is right click on layer two and then say export save feature as and then I'm going to go and choose that layer one I'll say save now the program is going to recognize that there already is a layer there so instead of overwriting that file we want to say append to layer so we select append to layer right and then if we turn these two off you'll see that there are now six points in the new layer Okay, so what it's essentially done is it's just added that layer again, but the changes should be reflected in this layer too. So I'm just going to remove that layer. Uh, let's remove that layer. And then if we turn that layer on, just refreshed it. Okay, so now all of those, 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 well, those three points from layer two are now included. So when you export and you save it over the exact same shapefile name, you just choose the append to layer option and not the... Uh, option to create an entirely new layer or overwrite I think the the text is there and there you've done it so it's as simple as that if we have a look at the attribute table to make sure that all the data has come through there it is and that's how you do it so it's quite simple okay so good luck with that cheers